Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jasmine and today I'm going to be showing you my full wavy hair tutorial. I have naturally wavy hair, so I'm just going to show you how I take care of it, how I accentuate it. So if you want to find out how I did my hair, just keep watching. <laughs> So first we're going to start with washing my hair. So I use the brand Pros for my shampoo and conditioner. This is one of those companies that creates a custom formula based on your location, your hair type, your needs, etc. And I've had a really great experience with this product. I'm not associated with them at all. I've been using it for about four or five months now and I'll definitely be reordering it. So first I'm taking the shampoo and working that into my scalp. And then any excess shampoo that I have, then I'll use that on the ends of my hair. I also want to mention that I shampoo my hair about once or twice a week, just depending on how much product buildup I have and how sticky my hair feels. But I've noticed that the less I shampoo my hair, the more moisture is retained in my hair and just the better my hair looks. Next, I'm taking my conditioner and I do use quite a bit of conditioner. I definitely go through the conditioner faster than the shampoo. But what I do with this and as I'm going to work it into wet hair and I work it through my hair as evenly as possible. And also I use this opportunity to brush through my hair with my fingers. You can also use a comb as well. I don't brush my hair when it's dry. If you have curly or wavy hair, you know, you just become a frizz ball and it's just not nice and so I usually just brush it in the shower. Then I scrunch the conditioner into my hair. It should sound like this. Hair does come out, it's natural. We typically lose, I think, 100 hairs a day as humans, so I feel like it's nothing really to worry about. And I've just realized with the volume of my wavy hair, it really doesn't make a difference. And yeah, it's just not something to stress about. I'll soap my body during this time, just allow the conditioner to <laughs> seep in my hair. Oh uh, yeah, okay, I'm washing. This is really weird, I'm filming myself showering. And then I'll rinse that conditioner and I only rinse for honestly about 30 seconds. I don't like to rinse all of it out because I want to, again, lock that moisture in. And I didn't mention this earlier, but I hold my hair up like this when I rinse it. I just feel like it just doesn't weigh my hair down as much. And also um, it just helps with the waves later on when I'm styling it. The last thing that I do is take a microfiber towel or a cotton t-shirt and I just rinse out just some extra liquid or I squeeze it out I should say. Don't use a regular towel on your wavy or curly hair because it can result in frizziness and we don't want that. And now I'm going to show you what I do when I don't wash my hair. So this is my hair straight out of bed. Not straight out of bed but I woke up a couple hours ago. I just put my hair in a little bun. I actually had to go to the bank so I went to the bank. And uh, this is my hair. And my hair does have product from yesterday and I actually like day two or three hair with like buildup of product because I just feel like my hair looks nicer that way. Typically when I do my hair after just washing it, it's not as nice. Besides me wetting my hair right now, everything else is the same. I do all the exact same steps every time I do my hair. The first thing I put in that I'm going to do right now is a leave-in conditioner. I actually make my own. You can totally buy some, but I just feel like this is easier. So I fill a bottle up with about, I would say usually a quarter of a weight. I don't have that much conditioner, of course, I'm running out when I'm filming this video, um, but I'll fill it up with that and then I'll fill up the rest with water. So I'm gonna do that now. And now I'm going to wet my hair. So I'll do it on camera here. I typically do this in the shower or above my, my uh, bathtub here because um, because of the conditioner in here, the liquid in here becomes very slick on the floor and we have tiles in here and it can become dangerous and also because of that I just don't want it all over the floor to get it all dirty. So basically, got my spray, very awkward position but I'm going to be spraying my hair all over. So now that this is all moist and I'm basically just going to scrunch out just any extra liquid. You don't need to do too much. Um, if you don't want to use conditioner in your spray bottle, you don't have to. Some people, their hair will become oilier than others. So if you just prefer to use water, just use water. It works well. I do that sometimes when I just don't want to make leave-in conditioner. I've realized over time my hair has really adapted to adding a lot more moisture to it, a lot of more moisturizing products. When I first started trying to accentuate my um, waves more and take care of my waves more. My hair did not respond well to the products initially. My hair got super oily just because it was a really 
new thing for me and I was experimenting with a bunch of different products but I feel like over time my hair has really developed a not a resistance to it I can't think of the word right now but my hair has gotten used to it over time and um, I can add a lot more moisture to my hair without it becoming oily and nasty the next thing I'm putting in my hair is my styling cream and any curl cream of your preference really works at uh, things I want you to take from this video that different things work for different people, but essentially when you're working with curly wavy hair, from my experience, you want to add a lot more moisture to it and keep it hydrated because that's when it looks its best. So I use the Loba Main Color Vibrante Styling Cream. It's a leave-in treatment and frizz control. I take like maybe this much. I might add a little more and I basically will just like work it through my hair. And I like to keep scrunching my hair when it's wet, especially to encourage those waves. The next product, which I actually just started using this year, is a styling gel. And gel freaked me out at first because I was like, I don't want my hair to be hard, I don't know. Curl defining gels, or this one's a curl defining jelly. It doesn't harden in your hair. It actually really holds your waves together. And um, it's awesome, I freaking love it. So I'm gonna do four pumps of this, which is, can you see it? Okay, that's as much as I put. And again, I'm going to coat my whole head with it. I like to also put it on the top. I was afraid of styling gels at first because again, I thought my hair was gonna be hard, but it really just holds my waves together. So I'm going to scrunch that all in. So the next thing that I do, this is the most important part in my opinion because this is really what accentuates my waves and it's just really what helps them become nice and bouncy. They look well put together. And this is what kind of just like seals them in place. I'm sure you've seen these before. Um, I actually had one of these when I was younger and I didn't know how to do it, so I just donated it. I didn't realize how beneficial it was for my waves, but get yourself a diffuser. Diffusers are amazing and basically I got, so I've had this blow dryer since like seventh grade. I found this um, universal diffuser on Amazon, but a lot of blow dryers come with it. So if like you're looking for a new blow dryer, just look for one with a diffuser because you have to make sure that the one you buy fits. So you're going to take the diffuser and kind of cup your hair into it, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to explain it, but this is going to help keep your curls and waves in their place and it really just helps accentuate your curls and give it give your hair a really good volume. What I wanna mention here is when I diffuse, I do it on low power because when I do it on high power that makes my hair really frizzy and then also for heat settings I do either medium or high. I previously used to do low because in terms of heat that's the least damaging but it also takes like 10 years to dry your hair so I usually stick with medium or high if I'm in a hurry. So I'll go through my hair evenly from left to right just to make sure for one thing that everything dries evenly but also when your hair is moist it has more weight and it'll weigh down your curls or your waves so I tried to prevent that if I were to just dry one side over the other that side would come out looking more bouncy and perky than the other side so I try to do it as evenly as possible lastly with this time lapse I keep looking up and down and I feel like I look a little <laughs> cuckoo so i just wanted to mention i was watching a youtube video while i was doing this that's why i have my airpods in so just in case anybody's wondering what i keep looking at it's my phone the last thing that i do is i take a um anti-frizz serum or hair serum so this one is from function of beauty chris and i um we tried out their stuff i ended up going with pros as you saw in the beginning of the video i wanted to try the custom shampoos but anyways with our order we got a free um little hair serum so I've just been using this um, I don't have any recommendations for any products as of now unfortunately because I just been using this for the past couple of months but if you do have some hair serum recommendations please leave them down below I'm sure pretty much everything will work because all you need to do is use this for anti-frizz so basically I'm going to run this through my hair and like I mentioned earlier um, when I first started this, my hair was not a fan of all of the moistures and oils, moistures, the moisture and oils and all that that I was putting into it. So my hair did get quite oily in the beginning, um, but my hair has gotten a lot more used to it and I definitely reacts a lot more positive, po positively to the moisturizing products that I put in it. So, um, just want to note that. So here is better lighting so you can see my full head of hair. Can see it. There you go. 
You see it? There's my hair. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this was helpful. I will link anything that I can down below for you to check out any products I mentioned and my previous video as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps me here on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and I will see you soon. Bye.